Hi, and welcome to today's LinkedIn Minute. I'm so glad you joined. Today, we're going to get rid of these numbers at the end of your LinkedIn URL. So today's lesson's all about streamlining your URL so you can put it on your business cards or include it in your email signature. As you can see with my friend Suzanne, Jewel, she's got these numbers after her name. So let's take a look at how to get rid of those. To do so, you want to go to your profile page. And there you will see on the right, edit public profile and URL. That's where you want to go. So let's go visit that page. At the very top right, you'll see again, edit your custom URL. By selecting the pencil, this field becomes editable. What I recommend you do is back up and eliminate all of the numbers, any hyphens, underlines, or special characters, and then start playing the LinkedIn lottery game to try to find a URL that uses primarily your name or your first initial and last name, as in this case, your full first name and last name, your full first name and middle initial and last name, and you get the idea. You might have to take a few uh, different angles to see if you can find it. Uh, one that's available. You're looking for an available URL that no one else is using. So sometimes I get the question, should I put keywords in my URL? And the answer on LinkedIn is no. <laughs> so in Google with search engine optimization, Google likes to see those keywords in the URL. In this case, however, your name and being found as a real person is more important than your keywords. So once you've won the lottery and found a combination that's available that isn't too long, uh, isn't war and peace, uh, then you should save your selection and then reload the page and you'll see your new URL. All right, well, that's it for today's LinkedIn Minute. Thanks for stopping by.